Hey, hey, Brax here, and I hope everybody's doing well. We've been insanely busy making serious progress on the technical demo. While this video is focused primarily on combat, I want to touch on a lot of things that are being worked on as well. First, the usual disclaimer. Everything you see is a pro work in progress. The animations, the environment, the armor shaders, the GUI, so on. Also worth noting is that we don't have evading functionality in quite yet. The evading is where you will double tap one of your locomotion keys, the WASD, and your character will do a quick sidestep or roll in that direction. Alright, so first of all, there are five of us in the video. I'm the character with its back to the camera, and I'm currently in peace mode, meaning I've stowed my weapons, and so clicking the mouse buttons would activate actions that are non-combat related. Also, you'll notice our placeholder GUI for hit points and stamina. That's red for hit points, tan for stamina. They work at a very basic level right now, and neither regenerate. If you'll focus on the character just to my right, you'll notice he's doing a multitude of different attacks, using each arm separately. You can easily control each arm and the direction of attack accordingly with a small movement of the mouse. Better yet, you can attack with both hands simultaneously, and again at different directions. But to take it even further, you'll be able to block with one weapon, like he is doing now, while attacking with the other. And of course, you can block with both arms simultaneously as well. You should notice the same character has swapped his dual swords for a sword shield combo. Inventory, equipment slots, and item swapping is already implemented at a fundamental level. So let's ease our way into actual combat. Here I've called on two of the others to face off and show that hitboxes are working. I've asked them not to move, just beat on each other. You'll see their torsos turn in red with each hit. You won't see this in the game as it's just for our build purposes. The other hitboxes such as arms, legs, and head are functioning, but we've just got it set right now that if any of those boxes get hit, the torso turns red. Moving on to a dual wielder versus a sh dual shielder, or total turtle as we've been calling it. We have the turtle blocking with both shields and for the most part it's being rather effective. Now the turtle is going to move in and deliver some damage as well. Yep, shield bashing is very much in TOA combat. And here's the dual wielder blocking those shield attacks. Alright, time to bring it all together. In case you hadn't noticed, there is no dying in TOA. Yet. 
It might be a bit easier if I just watch the others duke it out so the camera's not shaking and moving all around. Now here's a good example of the difference you can expect in combat. On the left are two opponents on all-out offense. They aren't blocking at all, they're not moving, they're just swinging away. Not a bad idea if you out-armor your opponent by quite a bit. On the right though, you can see they are trying to block and use a bit of positioning for better shots. Also, this is a good time to cover handedness. In character creation, you will select handedness for your character. You can either pick right, left, or ambidextrous. If you pick left or right, that hand is given a bonus to things, such as combat attacks, while your offhand is given a penalty. Picking ambidextrous means no penalty, but also no bonus. We think this will add another layer of depth to the combat system because you will come up against foes that are right-handed, left-handed, and ambi, and you'll need to adjust accordingly. Oh, and one other thing, if it hasn't been obvious so far, collision detection is on and operational. There is no passing through one another. This too is going to add a lot of tactics to group fighting. Another thing we've been working on is IK, or inverse kinematics. In its simplest terms, it allows you to move a body part without affecting the rest of the body. What we've done is tied the character's head to look at the reticle, or the center of the screen. This is only in an up-down motion right now since the body already turns to the proper direction. We think this simple feature will add tons to the gameplay. Also you can see from the character on my right, blocking and attacking animations are adjusted based on where you are looking, all thanks to IK. And that about covers it for this video. We hope you had as much fun watching it as we had making it. I want to say thank you again to all our backers and supporters. None of this would be possible without your generosity and we are incredibly blessed to have such an amazing community pushing us forward. Thanks a lot.